Does man, that marvel of the universe, that glorious paradox who sent me to the stars, still make war against his brother? Keep his neighbor's children starving? Good, and you? Bien. Puedes entrar y contarlo si querés. Oh, no, thanks. I have to get going. Just give me a call if there's a problem. Will do. Goodbye. Ciao. Hey, how'd it go? Pretty good. Is that the rest of the data? Yep. Well, why don't you go thread it up, and I'll give the captain a call and let him know we're ready. Okay, we know. <laughs> oh, captain, my captain. Are you there, Will? Will here. Over. We've got it. It's ready to roll. Over. Good. I'll be there at about uh, 4.20. Over now. man. I don't want anybody to know who I am. Who and what, and is, what is Captain, Captain Ozo? Ozo? Captain Ozo's a joker. He's a sly prankster. But he's a good one. Captain Ozone is an artist and a scientist. He's a noble defender of natural resources. Ozone can't outrun a speeding bullet or leap over tall buildings in a single bound, but he has done some heroic things in his own unique way. I'd say he's an eccentric man, but at the same time he has good intentions. He's the most shadowy person I've ever met in my life. He's extremely difficult to interview. Last time I was interviewed, somebody actually took everything I said and took it and put it in their own context. And it was not exactly how I was saying it and how I really felt. 
That's why I don't like being interviewed. Captain Ozone's a bean-eating, flatulating superhero. <laughs> I first met Captain Will Ozone at an Earth Day convention in Seattle and soon after that we started making environmental PSAs for television and movie theaters. For many centuries sunken hearts have been told, do not worry, there are plenty of other fish in the sea. Today our Pacific Northwest salmon are no longer plenty. I'm Captain Ozone. You can help save them. Call 1-800-SOS-SAM. The time to act is now. Okay. There's a, con uh, there's a contest attached to this. It's very simple. The first person to raise their hand and answer correctly wins a free Captain Ozone t-shirt. This, oh my God, oh my God, it is Captain Ozone. I give you up, you as seen on television, in real life at Seattle Hempfest, Captain Ozone. Hey Seattle, how's it going? Anyway, I have a demonstration here of hemp. I will show you the power of it. Let's do it! For those that you cannot see, they are now preparing the hemp fuel into the average, ordinary, everyday chainsaw, which has not been converted for this purpose. Fuel has been inserted. Oh my god, don't try this at home, folks. Step back. El aceite de cáñamo puede lubricar variedades de motores, también puede ser usado para hacer plásticos. Funny enough, we have something here for the police. Do it. What sort of scientific work are you doing with Captain Ozone? I'm sorry, but I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Uh, we can't release any information on that yet. That information is top secret. It'll become public once we're finished. <laughs> but for now, we're keeping a tight lid on it. <laughs> okay. Could you give us just a little hint? Nope. Please? All good things come to those who wait, my dear. He told me his uh, scientific research had something to do with improving the human condition. He's refused to give out any information about his work, but 
he did allow me to film a television PSA in his laboratory. Uh, as a matter of fact, he let me use his old Univac computer as a backdrop in the PSA. Getting it ready for you. Getting it ready for my generation. No ozone depletion. Discover hydrogen fuel at forhydrogen.com. The future's looking bright. Solar, wind, and hydropower can create hydrogen fuel that is completely pollution free and renewable. As a matter of fact, hydrogen fuel can be made from water, and when it's burned, it turns back into water. With the Department of Energy, they helped Captain Ozone create the very first hydrogen fuel PSA for television. Watch it, buddy! Vehicles that burn harmful gasoline heavily pollute our environment. But now there's a new way we can start saving the earth and use our vehicles. It's called hydrogen fuel. It's a water-based fuel and it doesn't harm the earth. What's so amazing about hydrogen fuel is that when it works, its byproduct is steam, which means it's recyclable. For more about hydrogen fuel, contact the Department of Energy at this web address or number. I'm Captain Ozone, and I'm here to present you with an award for your PSA, and it's a check for $1,000. Job well done. I invented a really nifty program. It involves school kids and creating their own environmental PSAs for television. The classrooms that made the best PSAs, I gave cash awards to. We are the champions! We are the champions! That's great! No time for pollution! We are the champions! <laughs> That's when I had the bad gas, so it really didn't help that day. But I still had a good time. Are we ready? The first place award, which is a check for $1,000 for your password. And I'm here to award you your class with some money. To help you out. Hey, you best give us some of that. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Ozone. You're welcome, and a job well done. You guys got some good stuff here. There are a little bit. Party, be nice. Let's go! See you guys later. kids influence their parents to be better environmentalists? <laughs> By taking their parents and putting them in the recycle bins. <laughs> you can recycle too. At the recycle bin. We'll save the trees! I'm the electricity fairy. So stop wasting your electricity. Kids, don't be dim, be bright, and turn off the lights. Gee, beautiful. Captain Ozone told me once that he's a time traveler and he's here to save our ill-fated future. 
Captain Ozone has told me that too, but time travel is a scientific impossibility, and I so I just don't believe him. The first time I ever saw Captain Ozone was in the middle of this parking lot in a mall. I had uh, just bought my first video camera, and I was kind of taping stuff in the parking lot. And I heard this really loud pop behind me. And I turned around, and here's this guy, Captain Ozone, sitting on this big silver toilet on top of this car. It's pretty weird, so I started videotaping him, and about a minute later, he uh, jumps off the car and offers me $100 for the videotape. So I took it. The videotaped footage of Captain Ozone on his time machine was used later in a Bows and Arrows music video, which I helped produce, and you should see later in this film. I think that video footage of the time machine is bogus, and it's just another one of Captain Ozone's pranks. However, Captain Ozone does have a very unique tattoo on his arm, which I have to admit has got us all really stumped. It's a tattoo that visually changes when Captain Ozone drinks hard liquor. The tattoo ink has a unique chemical reaction when alcohol enters the capillaries of the skin. We even did a time-lapse film of the process as it happened. Like you maybe had a, like a two margarita lunch there. Is that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was possible, actually. Actually, I like Stoli myself. <laughs> so there is Stoli in the future. Yes. There so is. all is not lost. Yes. <laughs> Russia is still alive. We called a bunch of tattoo parlors in uh, America and Europe to find out if this unique kind of tattoo ink was on the market, and virtually all of the tattoo parlors we talked to knew nothing about this special ink. It's Eco Art Day. I invented it on November 24th. It's a great concept. Eco Art Day, November 24th. On that day, we display used toilets that we make into fine art. Seven million toilets every year end up in landfills all across America. And it's environmentally friendly to make used toilets into fine works of art. Oh, there's one. There's one. Where? Uh, over by the dumpster there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We just drive through back alleyways and uh, we, we look for unwanted used toilets that are sitting outside and then we grab them. And it's a lot of fun, really. It's, it's kind of like going out on an Easter egg hunt. The themes for our commodes are usually based on endangered species and outer and inner space environments. Nostic Uncle Orchard has a root beer farm He says that avocados grow plentiful on Mars When the sun hits it just right Reward it with barrels when I was only five It did rot my teeth out guess I was fit for life Oda would be really into this. I believe she had a happening once where they actually sat around and watched a pot of water boil and evaporate. Around here we watch wax. It's much more oh, dangerous. There's apostles on Mars who are counting all the stars and naming them throughout infinity. Some toilets we make into giant candles, some we make into flower pots and ashtrays, and some we paint fluorescent colors to represent toxic waste. Yeah. 
My favorite inner space toilet was actually a replica of the submarine from the movie Fantastic Voyage. Our sub was destroyed by unappreciative vandals while it was on display. In the movie, the sub was destroyed by the human body's natural defenses. I help deliver the commodes on target, gorilla style. I also drive the getaway car. Your sign of the fuzz. Honey, Michael. Ah. We're all gonna die! We're gonna die! Boys, the blue meanies are coming. Mission accomplished. Last time I heard there were three words that all started with C. race will never annihilate itself. We're going to be here on this planet for a long, long time. We're also going to command great energies without harming the Earth. I have seen it. Can I take this off now so I can see who you really are? No, this interview's over. <laughs>
Yeah, it's okay, and Bellevue was the bit where he became a Lyndon, too. 